Heavenly Father, we're here again tonight. Just as we are. Broken. Tired. But grateful. Grateful for your love. Grateful for your presence. Grateful for your grace. Thank you for tonight. Another moment for us to meet with you. We come humbly and boldly into your presence. And we receive mercy right now. We receive grace. We receive strength. You said, they that wait upon the Lord shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We're ready tonight to praise the name of Jesus. We are ready tonight to lift up the name that is higher, the name that is greater, the name that is above all names. Somebody shout the name of Jesus right where you are. Shout the name of Jesus. Somebody call that name, call that name. Demons bow at the mention of that name. Thank you, Lord, for tonight you're here and we'll feel your presence. We'll feel the weight of your glory. And as we step in into our office, as psalmists and minstrels, we'll put on a gamut of praise. We'll put on a gamut of praise right now. We'll put on a gamut of praise. And we're making space for you tonight. We're making space for you. Come and fill this place with your presence, with your glory, with your power. Let every word bring glory to you. Let every chord bring glory to you. Let every note bring glory to you. And let every eye that will see us see Jesus. Let every ear that will hear the songs hear Jesus in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we go forth in your name. Hallelujah.
Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Um, this is our fourth um, event this year. We're here in June, July, August, and now it's September. And God has been faithful. We'll tell you that. When we started this journey, we had so much uncertainty about what would happen. But with your support and with your help, we're still here. And we just want to welcome you right where you are, in your cars, in your home, wherever you are at work, you know, in Canada, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Australia, England, wherever you're reaching us from. We are so grateful that tonight you've allowed us to join you at home. And what we're doing tonight is to lift up the name of Jesus. Because there's no other name among men by which we can be saved. And that is our duty tonight, to encourage you to praise that king. And as we're preparing for this event, um, I just felt hearing in my mind, fight. And this year has been a wonderful year, to say the least. But there's still so much more. There's still so much more to come. There's still so much more to come. And you just have to keep fighting for what you believe in, your faith in God your hope in God. You gotta keep fighting for your family, for your children, for your business, for your church, whatever you believe in. But one of the easiest weapons to fight with is your praise. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So we just wanna encourage you tonight that in your battle for 2020, don't lose your praise. Don't let go of your praise. No matter what comes to you, COVID-19, you lose your job, you fall sick, you know, you lose someone you love, always find a way to praise God because the joy of the Lord is your strength. And as you praise him, just watch God do great things in your life. We're going to continue to praise him tonight. I will encourage you, call your friends, call your neighbors, text them. You know, we're ready to praise him. Tell them it's happening right now with Falari and Keziah, Relentless Online Worship Series. Let's worship. Hey! Are you ready?
I know you don't know Cheryl. So we ask you to join us right where you are. Lift your voice. Lift your hands, your body.
clap your hands right now.
that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the leader. For we walk by faith, not by the things we see. So say what you heard. I said, say what you heard in the spirit. Speak it to the atmosphere. Yes, I believe.
begin Help me cross, call me alone